In this matrix, there are two things to keep in mind. One, that there are three different types of triangles present in this matrix, and two, that there are three different types of outline patterns that can happen to each of these types of triangles. The types of triangles are equilateral, like in element seven, where all of the sides are equal to each other, right isosceles, a right triangle that has two sides that are equal to each other, usually the two sides that are connected to that right angle, and just a regular right triangle. With regular right triangles, there's no special rules other than it just has to be a triangle with a right angle. Then the outline patterns, we have normal outlines, like in element three. Then we have one single bold line, like in element two and element four. And then we have a missing side, like in element six and element eight and element one. So how are we gonna be able to find our answer? Well, we can look at our answer choices and see that we are dealing with a, um, excuse me, a bold um, outline triangle. And we are dealing with a right isosceles triangle because all of these answer choices are a right isosceles triangle. So if we take a look at all of our bold outline triangles that we have in the matrix, we can see that the bold line is always on the right hand side. So that would lead me to eliminate answer choices uh, B through E. So now how do we tell the difference between A and F? For this, we'll need to look at the rest of our right isosceles triangles in the matrix, and that would be element three and element one if it had its side that is missing. So here in element three, we can see that it's on its longest side. The longest side is its base, or it's touching the ground, and here, one of its legs is touching the ground so that the longest face is facing to the right. So that means it's going to be in a different position because all of these other triangles, all of the um, right, uh, all of the regular right triangles, we have one that's on its short side, one that's on its long flat side, and then one that's on its long diagonal side. So we can tell that the triangle is changing sides throughout the matrix. So we need to our answer should be on the one side the right isosceles triangle has not touched, and that is answer choice A.